Um, I'm holding in my hand uh, a marine comp shell from the Caribbean. The, uh, the pointed end of the comp shell has been sawed off with a, with a string grit saw, a type of saw which very likely was used in pre-Columbian times. And by removing that tip, or the sort of the so-called distal end of the conch shell, it creates a natural mouthpiece. And there exists a Maya vase. Um, the vase is actually in a collection in Australia, the National Museum in Canberra. And there is a depiction of the instrument in which the Maya musician, all we see is the conch shell horn and his hand in the bell of the instrument. And I believe that by putting your hand in the bell, you can modulate the pitch or the sound of the instrument. And let me attempt to get a sound without my hand in the, in the bell. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's just all going to be edited, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now when I put my hand in the bell of the, of the marine seashell, the conch shell, as is depicted on the Maya vase in Australia, the, we are able to achieve the following sounds. So I believe that ancient Maya musicians were well aware of the possible uh, range or tonal range that you could achieve from a marine conch shell horn.